Okay, I wanted you to take a look at this. I'm going to go through some slides, and I know I've talked about this in multiple videos, but I want you to just take a look at these pictures, because this is really disturbing. First off, I want to say, if you're squeamish about, you know, certain pictures, um, having to do with the homeless, homeless encampments, then this is not the video for you, but... Just take a look at these. These. This is Los Angeles, and this is this is how it looks in in various areas of Los Angeles County, and this would include like Orange County, Los Angeles, downtown Los Angeles. And just take a look. And you can see the buildings, you know, in the background, you can see the, the big high rises and the, you know, the fancy buildings, and but just underneath, you know, the freeway or in some of the alleyways of downtown of LA, you'll see these homeless streets that are lying full of homeless people of all walks of life it's really really sad and this has been growing and growing and growing and now i want you to not only take a look at los angeles this is california right here right and so you know people they their whole life is out on the sidewalk and under freeways. And so now I want you to take a look at something that's, that's, that's disturbing as well. This is uh, in San Francisco. There was um, a man who he basically they had a problem in San Francisco where people were defecating out in public and this is a man that is in the aisle way of a grocery store that is using the restroom and he took some tissue off the shelf and this is John Dennis and he said clean up in aisle number three thank you Nancy Pelosi I publicly warned in 2018 that if we let people violate our streets the homeless problem would get worse and so I just wanted you to see, uh, let's go through. They always come up with uh, their fix-all solutions to homelessness, but, you know, they claim they reached the deal, 7,000 homeless people indoors, officials say, uh, but the truth of the matter is you still have homelessness that is happening in much of all over, you know, really, you know, you'll see homelessness. This is uh, San Francisco homelessness. It mirrors Los Angeles. And so I just wanted you to see that there's something happening all over. Now this blew my mind here. I was also looking at Oakland. Oakland has a really huge homeless encampment and they have homeless problems. They had like what looked like a whole a whole area that was nothing but homeless tents and it was really sad to see their homeless problem has, has been exacerbated a great deal and this is how Oakland looks it's, it's I want you to realize this is not happening just in one 
state. This seems to be growing outside of the states, even to Hawaii. Hawaii has had an uptick. This is a recent article where they said Hawaii had an uptick. This was 2020, June 11. Hawaii sees a slight uptick in homeless population. And they show one guy that has his tent out there. And so they have a problem with homelessness. Hawaii lost its... Um, a noble distinction last year of having the highest per capita rate of homelessness in America. And so, but oh, how homeless count increased to 0.7% during the nation's largest annual homeless census. And so this is happening now during the pandemic. And so what I'm getting at is we're seeing all this homelessness in all these different places there's homelessness going on San Francisco you know what makes me sad is that um, there was a rent moratorium so I don't know if you guys heard of this and so here in Los Angeles everywhere is supposed to be you know, freezing the rents, and they're supposed to be freezing evictions. And so there was a rent here in Los Angeles, a rent moratorium. And so this was supposed to help people who were struggling. And, you know, a lot of places were doing this. They uh, were freezing the rents, even in Orange County, like everywhere. And so all of these people from all over have been affected. And so a moratorium on eviction ends, leaving thousands of tenants fearful. And this is out of the New York Times. They also had their issues there. You know, they just had all of those people that died of COVID-19, and now they have the worry of a growing homeless population there. Um, something definitely, definitely is going on in the world that is so sad that it is leaving people in dire straits where they're out in the street with nowhere to go and they're looking for answers. And so, among all things, you know, it's just been so many problems, you know, with the homeless encampments. The people all over have been struggling with this. And you can see this. I couldn't believe it when I was looking at Oakland. Just everywhere. I mean, what have they done to clean all of this up? And L.A., you know, has a huge problem with their homeless encampments. This is uh, Los Angeles. It looks very similar to Oakland, you know, with the tents, you know, people just out there. And, you know, it just, it, it's not in one place. It's it just seems like it's growing and growing and growing. So, what do you think about this? It just seems like it doesn't get any better. So now, we're in the middle of a pandemic, and this is happening. So, there are several crises going on within a crisis. These are real troubling times to see people struggling like this. And every time they, they say that they have a bill, or they're going to try to find housing, or they're going to make affordable housing, and you just see this growing and growing. And now that we have the pandemic and there's high numbers of unemployment, this moratorium is going to end at some point. And the moratorium is also in L.A. It's going to end, you know, um, 
it's not going to be here forever to cover everyone. And so here's the thing that is upsetting is landlords are taking exception to Los Angeles, not allowing them to evict tenants during the coronavirus. So there have been people that have been taking advantage of the pandemic. And so that's been a big problem and that's what landlords are fighting against. And we're going to see, I, even in LA, I've seen a lot of furniture out on the street where people are moving out and um, they're starting to leave or abandon their apartments. Landlords take exception to Los Angeles not allowing them to evict tenants during the coronavirus. So landlords are very disappointed because they feel that they've been taken advantage of. So this is John O'Brien. And so some landlords have been able to work with their tenants while others feel that they have been taken advantage of. And so they're going through a crisis in terms of people taking advantage of the situation of a pandemic and living like squatters. So a group of representing apartment owners in LA is challenging the city moratorium on evictions during the coronavirus pandemic. Apartment Association of Greater of LA filed a suit. And so they filed a lawsuit in federal court June the 11th against the city mayor, Eric Garcetti and his city council who hastily implemented ordinances to prevent landlords from giving the boot to tenants who refused to pay. So while purportedly intended to provide relief for tenants so impacted, the ordinance are tailored to the tenant's actual inability to pay rent and significantly and needlessly infringe on constitutional rights of all lessers. And landlords within the city and the complaint is saying this. And so a lawyer at Rutan and Tucker are representing the apartment association. And so that is pretty much what's going on right now. So it is a lot of stuff happening. I don't know if people realize what these landlords have had it with the squatters and with the people who are taking advantage of this pandemic because there are people that really do need to stay in their place and they need to avoid homelessness. While on the other hand, you have people taking advantage of a situation and they make it bad for those who really need a place to stay. And so this is the landlord's position on the issues of this, but I don't see this getting any better. It looks as though there's going to be more homelessness guaranteed. I mean, we already have enough of this, more than enough, and they were trying to work on trying to fix the problem because business owners were complaining that they weren't able to operate their businesses because these encampments are in front of it or around it. And some of the homeless population, some that were there longer might have had mental issues and they're harder to deal with. You can't just tell them to move. And so it turns into a battle. And so this is what I'm going to leave you with. What do you think? Here we got a pandemic. <clears throat> we have this large homelessness crisis on top of the pandemic crisis. Then they're trying to find a vaccine for this coronavirus. They're saying cleanliness is what you need to keep from catching it. Does this look clean? I mean, there's no bathroom. There's nowhere to take a bath and to bathe. And I don't know if they thought about this. I mean, they clearly were not prepared for what has happened so far. When you look at these pictures, it's really alarming. And this is LA. Um, you see this going on, and yet they say that we have to be clean and wash our hands and social distance. I don't see any social distancing. You see a lot of this going on. But anyway, I'm going to let this video go. This is really sad. And so it puts everybody at risk, even those who are out there on the street having all of this everywhere. People are out there 
no place to go. What do you do in these circumstances? You know, this is this is LA and it's really sad right during the pandemic that this is going on, but without further ado, I'm going to let this video go. Like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for listening.